Hey, what's up, nerds? So there's a new update out for Premiere 13.1, and Adobe claims that they improve the eGPU performance, um, especially on the Mac. And um, yeah, so I have a Vega 64 in my Core X from Razer, and let's see if this works out. I have a project open, so let's see what what's what. So I have this project. It's a rather complex project and i have it on half resolution and uh, especially with 4k h264 uh, clips from a phantom 4 pro or something like that performance was really really bad i have this clip here this is on a rate with uh, like 300 400 megabyte per second read write so should be good it works good in final cut 10 and it did perform really badly uh, before here and I'm starting the playback this is the preview clip and right there on at this point it would stop the playback and it's pretty good and if I'm watching on this uh, eGPU performance it does perform really well so pretty good this is on a quarter resolution and even in this resolution this this kind of stuff here i wouldn't be able to do that so this is good looking on half resolution uh it's a bit yeah it's not as smooth but still pretty good yeah so this performs pretty well this was not a, not possible. I always had to transcode to ProRes, so this is a good sign. So this is really interesting. So even in timeline, I have it on half resolution. If I have this uh, clip here in in a 1080 timeline, all good. Performs really well. I can scrub here. This is good. So now I'm I'm going to do a quick crate here. Just the exposure using the loop deck here. This is really nice. Vignette. So this is a bit more intense on the on the GPU and as you can see right there it used all the eGPU it's a Vega 64 now let's see how the playback goes on half resolution yeah I mean it's a bit more complex but it works yeah pretty nice so I'm I'm surprised so and as you can see it utilizes all the gpu not even fully so this is good this is really good this was not possible before this is pretty impressive now this is a complex edit here um and with half resolution the playback this is unrendered. Nothing is rendered here and this was not possible to play back before. So this is all 4K. Some clips are 60 frames per second and the interview parts are 4K 25. And it seems to be a bit more struggling on the 60 frames per second clips. And all the color creating is done with Lumetri, nothing, no third party stuff. Yeah, this is 60 frames per second clip here. And this is also all 60, all the walking is 60 and... And this is 24, no 25, sorry. Yeah, all the 60, uh, it's a bit struggling there. unrendered but it's really good here on the 
yeah, so uh, I'd say it's really improved. Playback is uh, much better um, with this update and it seems to utilize the eGPU a bit more. Even though it's still kind of kind of is heavy on the CPU, I don't see those uh, those kind of numbers in Far Cry 10. So there you have it. It actually works pretty nice now. So interesting. It's not perfect yet, especially with 60 frame footage from an FS7. Still a little bit. I'm not quite sure. It's uh, much better now, um, pretty good. So Adobe, good work. Um, now the question is, at what point the Radeon 7 works with uh, the eGPU on the Mac? Right now it's not looking too good. I'm still using this uh, card only for gaming in my Windows machine and I don't have too much time for that. So fingers crossed, whatever, that this will be in the next update for macOS, but yeah, we will see. Anyways, if you have any questions about eGPU, Final Cut 10, Premiere, whatever, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one. Goodbye.